Hello, y'all. So, we are back. So, this is Season 1, Episode 2 of the Leak Battle ATL. Yes, I'm in my night attire or whatnot. So it's been one of those weeks. Well, hell, usually I try. Let, let's just say this. Every other video, y'all going to get a glammed up version and then a glammed down version. But this week, I had to really darn on motivate myself to do some videos so shout out to new new for giving me something to do because y'all wouldn't even got no video this week outside of my live stream because i just been feeling in a in a ruck like and i i talk more about that on my live stream that i got coming out friday uh or whatnot as well or the day prior because this review probably won't get out until saturday i'm recording this as of thursday but yeah I, I just been trying to motivate myself and I talk more about that later uh, but I do love these darn on reviews because it gives me something to talk about on a more playful level but as far as all the stuff that I've been experiencing normally I'd be quick to jump in give commentary on you know certain dramas and stuff going on but then I was like I got too much going on and I'm trying to you know bring positive energy of uh, in so it's like I'm not trying to overwhelm myself with negative stuff while I'm trying to detox myself with negative stuff so that's why I haven't touched on stuff like Tasha K versus Aunt Tina and is Aunt Tina still married to Dargon Richard Lawson and and a whole host of other stuff I've just been guarding my Dargon peace working on trying to get to this new job which has been hectic because i've had some curveballs if you follow my twitter you know what's going on um i did take the time to finally do my nails it's been a long time since y'all see my nails painted i also got my toenails painted the same someday i will get them professionally done but not today not today this is my basicness as an esthetician. Y'all know I, I get your skin right, but the nails, yeah, it's, it's just hit or miss. On to darn going to review, y'all. So we start off with um, the teams are still going on the scavenger hunt. They're asking strangers and whatnot um, for help and whatnot. At, you know, what's the name of the lake and you know how to get this place this that and the third and i was like now some of y'all been here too long and it's like now i understand some of the folks who only been there maybe like a year or so um people who just getting in there or whatnot like jay just moved to atlanta so it makes sense for him to darn gonna be asking for directions but some of y'all i'm looking like uh y'all hoes been here five six seven years y'all don't go to the park and Piedmont Park is a, a is a well known park. I was like, damn, this is sad. <laughs> this is sad that y'all don't even take. Hell, I had to go to the park yesterday. Now, granted, I'm a spiritual girl, so I went to the park to actually ground myself because I'm so. Like I said, I'm trying to detoxify myself, and I'm I'm very much of an empath person. Sometimes I absorb too much negative, and it, it affects me, and especially when I'm going through shit. So I I just went to the park. I took off my darn on shoes, my socks, and darn on just grounded myself, surrounded myself with my darn on crystals. Only thing we was missing was the full moon. Got to charge my crystals in the full moon, honey. But you know, I literally darn on just took in the elements of the wind and the earth, and literally just allowed the negative to drain out of me, at least enough within reason with what I was able to do within an hour. And Lord knows I get hit with so much more today and shit. I'd be glad when I'm able to get to a place of serenity. I just want darn on peace. And darn on just happiness and stability. That's all I ask for. I don't even need... I, 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 oh, but I talk more about that on the live stream, y'all. But anyways, yeah. Uh, the fact that y'all don't even go to the park or whatnot is like... Mm, Neither here nor there, though. Um, they're still darn going uh, asking folks questions. Tonka team won by just one point, and Tonka was the one to answer the final two questions that uh, made his team win or whatnot. Um, now, I felt bad for Dargon King and DJ. Ugh. 
Yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't really fuck with D. <laughs> I don't fuck with DJ, as y'all know from my last week's commentary. But I, I do think that it, she was put in a rather fucked up position. Because they was the ones that had to switch teams and shit. And then King got fucked over twice. And you know, speaking of fucked over, <laughs> I got a confession to make, y'all. Honey, I don't know how we got here. <laughs> Sweet dreams, I made of this. Who am I? If y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all know where I'm going at with this. Now, y'all know I have my dreams and stuff. And matter of fact, I got my, uh, let me... Hold on, take y'all off here. Y'all know I got my dream catcher up there. Or whatnot. So I be having my dreams and stuff. And you know, my dreams be having meanings and stuff to it. And now, it's not always literal. You can't take the dream at face value. Because when I say I had a dream about a certain cast member on this show. Now, I know y'all thinking... And, and you know, I was on the passenger side of the dog on of the of the bros ride or whatnot, and it was giving dog on girlfriend tease, and I was like, how in the hell did we get here? I had to laugh about that shit. And I granted the person is cute or whatnot, um, but let me rule out the usual people that y'all would probably think. Now I know y'all thinking, well, since I know Melly B the best, it might it must have been Melly B. No, even though Melly B. Dargon be giving Dargon catfish with them photos, he be giving Dargon trade with the pics, but he's a Dargon queen in real life. Uh, it wasn't Dargon Melly. I'm just getting to know Jay. <laughs> Child, that shit was... <laughs> now, Jay, you know why I'm laughing. Honey, if it was you, that shit would be awkward in more ways than one. <laughs> you know, given your recent situation, honey, Honey, that, that'll be like a little square. <laughs> Child, no, it, it wasn't Jay. So to our mutual friend, honey, don't get ready to cuss Diva Wine out, honey. I'm not trying to add to your situation or what you got going on, Lord. I, I hope they get to a place of, of fixing that. I'm not even name dropping that. Um, If y'all don't know, y'all don't know, honey. I, I just hope for all parties involved to get to a peaceful resolve. Uh, But it's not other than King. Now, I have to laugh because King is attractive or whatnot, but I don't look at King in that way or whatnot. Uh, I don't even, I, I don't think I, I think I've seen his face one or t uh, two times. Uh, now, they say he got this darn going uh, platform called the Royal Couch. I've heard of the Royal Couch, but I've never actually seen, like, I've always heard of it in passing, like, I think I've seen his face in passing in some aspects, but I've never actually watched the interview. I got to watch the interview or whatnot. But it was just funny that, honey, I don't know if you was thinking about me or whatnot, but if so, I'm flattered, boo. But I don't know. Maybe the interpretation of that was because we ain't do anything if you was wondering. Uh, so maybe you might be connected to somebody that you might can hook a girl up with. I don't know. Because you was driving me to a destination of sorts. So maybe you was the messenger. I don't know what the meaning is. King, if you know the answer, honey, DM a girl, child. But yeah, y'all, the universe trying to play tricks on me, honey. Trying to put me in the darn <laughs> romance with my darn folks that I review, child. This a damn shame. If we don't get deeper on a man so child, this is fucked up. Even my damn dreams playing darn on just... Horrible matchmaking with me, honey. But moving off of that doggone funny dream, honey. Like I said, you keep though, but honey. We, mm -mm. Uh, but yeah, I felt sorry for King because King doggone got forced off his team. Then they thought he was the op, right? So when it was time to vote somebody off the team, honey, they vote him off the team thinking he was the doggone op. And then at the end, they want to put him up for elimination. I was like, oh, y'all try even though he still put in a good amount on both sides, y'all want the darn gonna put King up for elimination? Yeah, y'all wrong. Uh, Tonka in, uh, is deemed the biggest threat uh, amongst everybody. Shirai was the one voted to be safe on his team from elimination. Um, so then it gets to the eliminations, right? So we got La Stay Fly uh, Jay no, I don't think Jay was up. No, it was Last Day Fly, K, 
King and DJ were the bottom three. Then it gets down to the bottom two were darn gone DJ, the veteran girl, the transphobe, honey, and La Stay Fly. I was like, oh, look how soon we get in this darn gone predicament, honey. Now, I told you that Mafia Hugs was going to get her in trouble. You on a show full of damn queens. This is the first darn on LGBT darn on black. Hell, black LGBT darn on game show. First game show period up for the queers. And you talking about what you don't like of a certain part of the queers or whatnot. Talking about the bathroom, this, the bathroom, that. I was like, you you running your mouth. And you got several people in the community that you darn on inadvertently affected. Honey, so I said, honey, it wouldn't darn gonna surprise me if you be about the first, first to get voted off. Now, I said that shit thinking that she's going to be at least the second or third. I said, honey, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be my fortune for her to be the first one, honey. Even though I wouldn't have mind. But, honey, I was looking. I was like, mm, <laughs> this is very befitting, honey. But the fact that they darn gonna put La Stay Fly down there, which I felt king on that to a certain extent. It's like, now, bitch, you you one of the goddamn managers. Y'all the one voted me out and all this shit. And now y'all want to say I darn gonna should be the one get sent home. But ultimately, it was your actions. It was your leadership that caused the team to fail. And hell, I would have been like, honey, let's darn gonna roll the beautiful bean footage and let's see who tally up the less questions. Now, I I don't think both the man, I don't think necessarily both the captains had to be in the bottom two. Because Tonka, we did see put in a lot of work. But uh, last stay fly. I don't think we've seen you uh, answer as many questions as Tonka. And I would have been like, well, roll the beautiful bean footage back. And if King answered more questions than darn gonna lie, stay fly, we could say, hell, that darn gonna shows that you should be in the bottom. Because, hell, he wasn't even on the team for the longest. And if he darn gonna answer proportionally just as many questions as you did, and you the captain, then your ass should be in darn gonna select to go home. And... But it, it was between uh, La Stay Fly in the end and DJ. Now, once again, I, I'm not seeing it for DJ or whatnot, but I think DJ got the short end of the stick either. I don't agree with her politics, but she was working it out on both teams that she was on. So she she was put in an effed up situation. Now, some of the choices darn on was petty as fuck. Now, Melly B, you know I love you, boo. You, you, you my good sis and all. But I was like, now, you talking about you voting darn on uh, L.A. fly off or whatnot because her hair is too stylish. I said, like, oh, that's a petty darn old <laughs> I was like, you petty bitch of a butch queen. I was like, are you serious? Not that you see her as a formidable threat or something or, oh, let's go ahead and get her out as if she's a threat like Tonka or whatnot. It's like, oh, your hair's too pretty. Oh, girl, goodbye. <laughs> I was like, girl, boo. Now, Melly. Child, you know you fucking wrong for that, child. Needless to say, they get rid of darn going up, uh, old girl. I was like, damn. Y'all, the, the optics ain't looking good. Y'all get rid of the the only darn on masculine lesbian on the goddamn show. Now, granted, I know we ain't supposed to play the politic game. This is darn going strategic and shit. But I was like, damn. You're going to get rid of the masculine lesbian for the girl that darn going hates the trans folks. And neither one of them was no formidable threat. So you can't say, oh, you was getting rid of her for strategics. It's like, oh, no. So I was irritated with that, honey. Not even that, that, that darn gone old girl stay. I do believe, well, hell. I don't even know who I would have picked in the bottom. Like I said, I would have went based off of who, who I would have tallied up who a answered the most questions and who answered the least. Whoever answered the least, for the exception of Dargon King, because King got switched the team. Whoever was the one on that team the whole time and answered the least, uh, you know, asked the least amount of questions or answered the least amount of questions should have been put in that damn bottle. And then the, one of them captains, you could have darn gone rock, paper, scissors, shoot for it, but it, it, it could have been a toss up between either or a Tonka and darn gone La Stay Fly. Now, unfortunately, La Stay Fly, your ass was darn gone voted in the bottom, honey. You already know they're going to give darn gone Tonka Miss Congeniality. So it was like you was in a screwed up situation, boom. 
In the pageantry world, honey, you was darn going up shit's creek without a paddle, honey. So then we get on over to um Tonka and Jay are now voted the new darn going um captains or whatnot. Now they was on the same team. Now that means now they got to split their own team up and they got the darn going now choose amongst also the other team because now they splitting up into two different teams. A good way for the folks to get to know each other so you don't get too complicit uh, with just knowing the same groups of folks or whatnot. So I do like that switch up or whatnot. So even with these alliances and stuff, you can't always just choose because we know how the girls can be, honey. You leave it up to them, honey. They, they, they get clickish real quick. And if, if they can just choose who they want to be, honey, they would have kept the same damn team. So I'm glad that, you know, they switched it up like this, honey. So they choosing they darn on teams or whatnot, um, amongst Tonka and Jay. And then, you know, we end off with finding out, you know, about the alliances. Melly B and um Melly B and Dargon Mulatto are the ones that are really trying to solidify their alliances or whatnot. So I was like, look at the Dargon Circle crew, Dargon thing is strategically. I was like, honey, that Dargon Circle experience is coming back, honey. Y'all thinking about y'all alliances from back then, honey. You know, y'all y'all applying it to the game show, honey. But Mulatto making sure she got her Dargon picks or whatnot. Uh, she trying to uh, make sure she secures many folks as possible. Because obviously Mulatto and Melly no, no longer see it for each other. Now I remember back when I was reviewing the show that they ended off on friendship because y'all know it was the team they, they were split up to. It was Dargon, Jewel, Tevin, uh, Eugene, and Dante was flip floppy. But that was Jewel's side. And then you had Melly's side. Which included Cash De Niro, Rico, my good sis Rico Cassadine, um, the Mexican chick Alyssa, I think her name was, and then you had Mulatto. So I was like, child, this is just bringing back deja vu, child. Uh, so they don't see it for each other. And then apparently DJ and Tanisha don't see it for each other either. So those are the darn old dedicated beefs that are, are a brewing. For now, because then we get clips of next week's episode uh, where the girls got to raise money for charity or whatnot. I was like, honey, I hate to be stereotypical, but black motherfucker boo bougie bitches that put on for false pretenses. And once again, if it doesn't apply, let it fly, honey. Uh, uh, but Atlanta overall bougie pretenses, darn going, act like you got more than what you really have. Be the main ones come up in there with Fendi, Prada, Gucci, Louis, uh, Yves Saint Laurent, uh, Roberto Cavalli, Dargon, uh, Givenchy, a lot of shit that most of y'all can't even spell nor Dargon uh, phonetically pronounce correctly. And then when it comes to donation, look, it'd it be about a thousand people in there. I, I bet you probably won't even get a thousand dollars amongst a thousand people. Well, let me not say that. If you do, it'll be one person that darn go, or one or two people that donated like five or six hundred dollars. And then everybody else darn go was like scratching their heads. So it's going to be interesting to see if everybody darn go really donated the um, equivalent to what they be looking like, honey. People be looking like fifty million dollars in goddamn Atlanta. And hell, y'all see it. I, this, I'm not even just picking on them, honey. I, we see it on Housewives. This is just across everything. No matter uh, whether you on YouTube or you on Housewives, honey. Hell, I, a $50,000 donation to Sonya's party or whatnot. And amongst the girls, they had to split $7,000 each. Honey, you got Sheree darn going scrumming around and all this, that, and the third. I was like, this a damn shame. Bitch, you done been in it. Now, granted, you are on again, off again, on again, off again, housewife. But, bitch, collectively, out of these 15 seasons, you done been on here, I want to say, at least seven out of the 15 seasons. And you darn gonna scrumming around for goddamn uh $7,000, Miss Sheba Sheree. So, once again, all the a lot of the girls be darn gonna put on, no, honey, uh, acting like they got it until it's time to be archalistic. Then all of a sudden, they money looking funny. We'll see, honey. But that's how we basically end off the episode. We find out who got the beats against each other. And, 
you know, we about to see. Oh, and then Jay apparently now got some issues with Melly. Oh, God, Jay. Lord knows. <laughs> Jay, girl, first it was your personal situation that we ain't even going to bring up on YouTube, honey. Um, concerning another friend of mine. Now here you is with goddamn wanting to go at Melly. Girl, it ain't looking for you. It ain't looking good, boo. This is not the darn welcome to the A and first impression. <laughs> First impressions that you should meet. I mean, you should be doggone doing, honey. Lord knows. But we're going to see. But see now, Melly doggone ain't, to, uh, ain't so innocent himself. Now, I, I, I'm going to hold off judgment until I see the episode, honey. Maybe Melly might have doggone been flipping out the mouth and said some reckless shit. I don't know. But girl, we'll see, honey. But that's my review of season one, episode two of Doggone Elite Battle ATL. So y'all know what to do. Feel free to leave your comments down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see y'all next week with episode 3. Mwah.